Hello everyone, the next topic will be impression techniques and fixed partial denture. As of now we know the principles of tooth preparation, how to retract the gingiva, how to manage with the soft tissues and now we will see how to make impression of a fixed partial denture cases. Introduction and accurate impression is a key for success whereas the success of prosthesis remains in accuracy, long life and fit of the Denture. What are the extra requirements of a fixed partial denture impression? Exact duplication of the prepared tooth that we have and it should be the teeth adjacent to the prepared tooth should not be disturbed and impression should be free of any bubbles. So definition of impression as we know it's a negative likeliness or copy in reverse of its structure of an object. A method or a manner used to make a negative likeliness is called a impression technique. So the classification of impression techniques can be stock trays or custom tray. Now with stock tray, we have different techniques like double mix, single impression, double mix, double impression, triple tray technique, matrix impression technique, reversible hydrocolloid. In custom tray, we have double mix, single impression or a single mix, single impression. We will see all these types in which material which we should be taking. Classification, it can be hand mixing, it can be machine mixing or it can be auto mixing. Now classification of special mode techniques are copper band technique, laminate techniques, functionally generated part, putty wash technique, special techniques for post and core fixed partial dentures will be elastomeric impression with wire reinforcement, that is a direct technique. Green stick impression and pickup impression in alginate, that is another direct technique, or pattern raising technique is even a direct technique. Now we all know stock tray. Stock tray means a tray which is in stock. It is for every patient, it is not customized. So in these kind of stock tray, it can be metal, it can be plastic. Now the disadvantages of plastic stock trays are autoclave is a problem. So sterilization and autoclave for metal trays are very good and of good results. So advantages eliminates time and expansion expensive for fabrication of custom tray. Metal stock trays are rigid and are not susceptible to distortion. Whereas disadvantages are more impression material is required and need to sterilize the tray. Coming to the first technique that is putty wash technique that can be of two types. Double mix single impression or double mix double impression. Now putty wash double mix double impression technique. Let the name itself says. Firstly, putty wash. First, you have to put a putty, then you have to also have a wash impression material. So that means a hard, hard, heavy body and a light body combination. Now, double mix, double impression. That means what? You have to mix it two times, make the impression two times. That means with the heavy body, first you will make an impression, remove it. Trim the areas of the cast and of the cusp of all the impression surface and again apply light body and then again make an impression. So two times impression, twice you have mixed the material. So it is double mix, double impression, also called putty wash impression technique. One thing to be remembered in these kind of techniques is that the trimming area should be very much adequate so that it gives space for the light body to also flow and record the minute details of the impression of the tooth per se. Now the putty is needed for 30 seconds. The putty is placed in the tray. Sheet of polyethylene is placed over the putty wash. Putty impression on that you can place a polyethylene sheet or you can trim the putty impression which has come for the first time. Either of it your option. Place equal length of accelerator and base on a mixing pad. Mix the material in circular motion with the tip of the spatula. Load with the syringe with the swift bowel strokes. Place the light body impression into the putty impression and also to the tooth which is prepared so that the viscosity is more and it flows and records the minute details and make the final impression. Coming to putty wash, double mix, single impression technique. So the next is putty wash, double mix, single impression technique. So we will mix two materials that is putty and light body, that is heavy body and light body that means, but 
we will mix it simultaneously and only pick up in one impression. So now the question arrives here is which material is to be mixed first? Light body more in consistencies but its viscosity is also more. We have to start mixing the light body before we start mixing the putty. So once we start mixing the light body and then again within seconds you have to start mixing the putty. Then you mix both the materials, place the putty onto the tray and also load the light body over the entire area of the putty and also some light body in the tooth prepared. Now you make the impression in single shot. Now here you need not verify that whether the light body is being equally distributed everywhere to check that the equal uh, to check that the equal space was present? No, because you have mixed both the materials and placed it in one shot, it can be quite possible in some area only light body is there and in some area only putty is there. But the mixture of the light body and putty since it is used in single stroke and mostly the light body for the prepared tooth, the details of the prepared tooth should come well with the light body encroached on it. So in this technique, both the materials are used simultaneously. The putty material is loaded in the stock tray. The light body material is syringed around the tooth preparation without moving it out. Then the unsipped putty is seated over the light body material. This was all about the putty wash. Double mix, single impression technique. Coming to triple tray technique. We spoke about the triple tray technique in our earlier lecture as well. In triple tray technique, what you do is there will be one impression on for the maxillary. Same tray on the downside, you will have mandibular impression and a plastic sleeve will be there in between. Advantage is shifting of teeth occurring during maximum. You have less impression material is needed and less time is taken. Disadvantage is this tray is not rigid because it is of plastic. So the distribution of the impression material is not uniform and not a functionally generated part that is for maximal intercuspation position only these kind of triple tray technique can be used. So tray is inserted to determine the clearance between the lateral and distally. Syringe material is injected into the area to be recorded. High viscosity material is added, mixed and placed in excess on both the arches. Tray is placed manually on the maxillary arch. Instruct the patient to close the mouth and intercuspation. Evaluate closer by observing the interdigitation of opposing arches. And most important, there will be perforation of the impression. After making the impression, the patient is instructed to open the mouth slowly. The tray will adhere to one arch. Bilateral pressure should be applied to remove the tray. It helps minimize distortion. And one more important thing before we go ahead with all these material, even in putty wash technique, the removal of the tray should be in single stroke. The reason is the viscoelastic property of the material. Otherwise, the material will get distorted. Otherwise, the viscoelastic property, the viscous and elastic, both properties are there in the light body or media body or any polyvinyl siloxane material. So it has to be removed in a single stroke to minimize distortion. So diastone is poured into the impression onto the tooth preparation. Impression are boxed and cast are now made. Articulation should be done on hinge articulator. It, it is three point or you have told you before also mean value articulator is fair enough to do triple tray techniques. Coming to reversible hydrocolloid impression technique. Reversible hydrocolloid impression technique, what can we use agar? So we have a liquefying bath whose temperature is around 100 degrees Celsius, we know. So it requires special conditioning unit which is made up of thermostatically controlled water bath. We have liquefying bath, we have storage bath which is of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. What does the storage bath do? They maintain the liquefying material until needed. We have a tempering bar which is of 40 to 45 degrees Celsius for reducing the temperature of the heavy body tray material enough to avoid any tissue damage. Now the another technique is matrix impression technique. Matrix impression technique what you do like a copper band only we have a matrix. Simultaneously a stock tray is filled with a medium viscosity impression material over the matrix and the remaining teeth to make an impression of the entire arch. What is this means? What you do is like an interocclusal record material, you use a medium body material over the teeth surfaces. Now that is placed over the teeth 
of which they prepared on those area and then with the stock tray you make an impression so that was called the matrix impression you create a matrix first you create a boundary first and then you make the stock tray impression custom tray it can be double mix single impression double mix double impression technique the, the thing is the same, remains the same, just that here we are not using a stock tray and we will here use a custom tray. Now in single mix, single impression, how will we do that? Single mix, single impression is done with the help of a material which is called monophase. Name itself is saying monophase, one phased material. So that is only used as a tray material, that is only used as an impression over the surface of the tooth prepared. So like a light body we are applying, we will apply the monophase over the teeth also onto the tray and make a single impression. Mostly you get in red in color, pinkish in color. So one mix is used to load the syringe and tray simultaneously to make the impression. That is a single mix, single impression using monophase impression compound. Nowadays we have auto mix techniques where we have pre-packed cartilages, multi-linked auto mix with a disposable mixing tip. Now this is very useful and very easy our work is done. We did not mix the time of setting time and all those things are controlled by itself because it is all pre-packed cartridges. So we will directly put this into the prepared tooth and we will make the impression with the help of stock tray or with the help of custom tray. The homogeneously incorporated material can be directly placed in the tray and prepared tooth and special tips are there which is to be disposed because it gets set in the tip the material will get set so the next time if you want to use it the material will not flow from that particular place so you need to replace that we do even have machine mixing techniques now alginate also like earlier we used to mix nowadays we have alginate mixing techniques these are the machine mixing technique for mixing easier method also convenient for us so convenient and produce void free impression. The most important is it we never have to tap it. I know like alginate full mixing and figure eight motions are not required. You can just do a machine mixing. Even you get polyvinyl siloxanes like adhesion silicon and condensation silicon light bodies as well in this machine mixing techniques also. Coming to the next and very old but newly used with a different material technique is the copper band impression technique. Earlier, the copper band impression technique was used with a green stick compound and impression compound. Green stick because it is a low fusing impression compound and impression compound on the top. So green stick used to go and make the impression displacing the gingiva in that particular so the finish line it used to record nicely and zinc oxidigenol was placed inside the copper band. Now what you do is, now you use medium body and on the top you fix it with green stick. So the material has changed, technique remains the same. Coming to the another technique which is also called laminate technique. This word laminate comes in many places. It also comes in place where agar and alginate is used together simultaneously to make an impression. Like because agar is one material which can take the make the impression minute details of the impression. So agar if you use it into intraorally and you know alginate also together. So modified reversible hydrocolloid alginate well, irreversible hydrocolloid, irreversible hydrocolloid was introduced late 1970s. Chill alginate that will bond with the syringe agar. So the alginate gels by chemical reaction. Whereas agar gels by the contact with the cool alginate rather than water circulating. Because agar generally we require a triple tray water circulating rim lock trays. So since the agar, not the alginate is in contact with the prepared tooth, the details are very nicely taken. So the detail is also taken and the removal of impression is also now very well done, recorded. Maximum details can be recorded. So hence, laminated, the word is using laminate because you are using two things together, agar and alginate, to make the impression of a fixed partial denture. Thank you.